What's up everyone? I'm trying something new in this video by focusing on the charts of the day for the upcoming week's short-term momentum trades and long-term investment. I've scoured through hundreds of stocks, if not thousands, to find the highest probability of making money. As you know, it is easy to make money when the momentum and trend is in your favor. I'll cover 5 stocks that is on my top of my watch list and provide you with my price prediction. Yes, no BS, so stick around, I think you may like what I have in store for you. Hi, my name is Anthony and welcome to Quantum Finance. I'm a former engineer and data analyst turned entrepreneur and investor. In this channel, I focus on high growth and disruptive technology companies for short-term momentum trades and long-term investments. If you're new, big welcome. If you're returning, welcome back and thank you for your support. Please note that this video is for entertainment purpose only as I'm not licensed. However, that does not mean I won't present you with facts that could supercharge up your portfolio. Before I start, and if you have not already done so, I would ask for your help to help grow this small channel by reaching the first 1,000 subscribers by smashing the sub button below. Please also do like, share, and comment. Do let me know what you think of the format and the content below, as I will only cover 5 stocks. My objective is to make this video as short and to the point as possible. And yes, I do read all the comments and I will see you down there. With that all of the way, let's get right into it. My top stock for the week is Churchill Capital or CCIV. Going into tomorrow, most of us are waiting for good news that the merger with Lucid Motor will be confirmed. Firm. If it is announced tomorrow, it will most likely be after market close. However, official confirmation could be delayed, worst case, no merger, but unlikely. At this point, it is anyone's guess. If the merger announcement is confirmed, this stock will spike to $25 to $35 easily. I suspect potential formal investors and short-term traders will jump into this stock, pushing the stocks higher regardless of merger or no merger news. In any case, I could see this go to $45 and $55 rather quickly. I do have to disclose that I own call options on this play. The second stock is Petmont Lithium or PLL. It closed up 91 cents to $40.91 or 2.28%. This is on a 1.15 times the normal volume. It is in a strong uptrend and is overbought at the moment. The price action carved a doji or a hangman candlestick. It is a sign of potential bearish reversal. We do need confirmation tomorrow. I would wait for confirmation before I short the stock. It is up 4 days in a row and the potential pullback is imminent. However, since it is in a bullish uptrend at the moment and with the increased demand for Lithium for EV batteries, I could see this stock push up higher. So watch out for a breakout above the $43 level for a continuation run to $53 range. If breakout is confirmed, I will be buying call options and potentially buy the stock itself for long term hold. The third stock is BioNano Genomics or BNGO. It continues rally on Friday following the conclusion of the Biotech's Next Generation Cytogenomics Symposium. It was up a whopping 21.29% on a 3.1 times the normal volume. Friday close was at $8.43 up $1.48. The bulls way to push the stock up to 52 week high. Due to the stock's strong uptrend, it may remain overbought for a while. The current support is at the $5.10 level. There is no resistance above. However, I would caution that since the stock has ran up so much that you might want to wait and see what happened before you jump right into it. It could pull back, consolidate before it's run up again. Of course, there is rumor that Kathy Wood of ARK Investment could be buying this stock as part of her genomics ETF. So expect some positive outcome for BNGO tomorrow. With all the positive news recently for BNGO, I do anticipate this stock will run up to $12 to $15 in no time, possibly within a week or two. I do have to disclose that I do not own BNGO at the moment, but I do plan to buy this stock and hold for long term and potentially also buy call options. The fourth stock is CRISPR Therapeutics or CRSP. It closed at $199.98 on Friday, January 15th. It was down $10.16 or 4.84%. This was on a volume of 2.2 times the normal volume. Bulls were able to push the stock to a new 52 week high. However, the price action carve a dark cloud candlestick pattern, signaling a potential bearish trend reversal. If the bearish reversal is confirmed, expect the stock to trade lower and sideways before it rebounds. If the dark cloud is not confirmed, watch for a potential breakout above $202.50. If confirmed, it will continue its run to $237 price target. Note that there is no resistance above this and its support level is at $194.85. Last but not least is Redfin or RDFN. It closed down 1.17% on Friday. This is on a low volume at 43 percent of the normal volume. It closed at $76.77 or down 91 cents. It's sitting right above its 20 DMA. It formed a potential bullish reversal doji candlestick. This stock exhibited some range contraction during the trading session and made the nearest range of the last seven sessions. This is a potential squeeze. So watch out for it to pop above the $84 for a continued run into the $105 price target. If it fails to confirm a bullish reversal tomorrow, it could trade lower to the $69 level before it rebounds. So there you have it. I will also start a small 
small account sum with just $500 and see if we can 10 exit within the next 6 months or less. Try to make this video as short and to the point as possible. So if you find the content of this video valuable, please smash the sub button below if you have not already done so. While you're at it, please smash the like button as well. Do share and comment below. Thank you for your support and let's go out to make some money.